The next award goes not to an actress, but to a director. The gentlemen who will present it are no stranger to Oscar either. Between them, they've won three as actors. Mr. Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau. Screw it up. There you go. <laughs> now, there are all kinds of directors. There are spectator directors, dictator directors, directors that are kind and tolerant. They're understanding. There are also directors that are mean and petty and contemptible. Some directors are short. <laughs> and some are tall. Some are old and some are young. There are American directors, French, Czechoslovakian, and English directors, etc. There are directors who know everything about human behavior and nothing about the camera. There are directors who know camera angles, camera lenses, camera sprockets, and depth of focus, but who are totally ignorant of the human condition. We have all of these directors with us tonight. <laughs> also, also we have directors who work well with the camera and with the actors, and one of them is going to win the Academy Award. The nominees for Best Achievement in Directing are Louis Mal for Atlantic City. Hugh Hudson for Chariots of Fire. Mark Rydell for On Golden Pond. Steven Spielberg for Raiders of the Lost Ark. And Warren Beatty for Red. The winner is Warren Beatty. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, Ms. Keaton, I know that, uh, that public expressions like this can be embarrassing sometimes and that my chances of uh, speaking with you privately later are at the moment excellent. Uh, <laughs> I, I do want to tell you that you make every director that you work with look good and I think that what they're trying to tell me here tonight, thank God, is that I'm no exception. Uh, Mr. Nicholson. Uh, I know that you're enjoying my being up here almost as much as I am in being here. Uh, I know I do one thing well, I get good people. Uh, Elaine May, Peter Feebleman, Jeremy Pixer, uh, Robert Town, Simon Ralph, Zelda Barron, Richie Cirinzioni, Steve Sondheim, Dave Grusin, David McLeod, uh, so many, many more, uh, among whom are the people that you've uh, uh, nominated here tonight. Uh, and happily uh, saved me from having to remember to name 14 more names. Uh, I do want to name Mr. Barry Diller, who runs Paramount, uh, Mr. Dick Zimbert, who's been very kind to me, Mr. Frank Mancuso, and Mr. Charles Bludorn, who runs uh, Gulf and Western and God knows what else. Uh, and I want to say to you, gentlemen, that no matter how much we might have liked to have strangled each other from time to time, I think that your decision, taken in the great capitalistic tower of Gulf and Western, 
<laughs> to finance uh, a three and a half hour romance which attempts to reveal uh, for the first time just something of the beginnings of American socialism and American communism reflects credit not only upon you, I think it reflects credit upon Hollywood and the movie business, wherever that is, and I think that it reflects more particular credit on the freedom of expression that we have in our American society and the lack of censorship that we have from the government or the people who put up the money.